So in our print farms here at Slant 3D, uh, we really don't like to use white. So in 3D printing and in plastics in general, uh, in order to get colors inside of a particular material, you have to input some colorant. Most plastics actually come out as almost transparent or maybe sort of milk colored or so when they're actually processed. So like nylon is very milky. PLA comes out as clear slash yellow, depending on what version of it it is. PETG is sometimes has a blue baseline. So in order to make those materials have a color, you actually have to add color to them. Colorants are derived from both synthetic and organic sources of all different types. Like black is made from actually carbon-based carbon black, which is used in everything, kind of looks like soot when you're messing around with it. And then you can go into different variations and start mixing whites and blues and greens and that kind of thing to get all the colors that you need. But of all of these colorants, a couple really stand out as just being bad or tough to work with. They're not impossible to work with. Of course, we make colors out of white and others, but they're difficult and they cause problems inside of the process that make them something that we kind of want to avoid and something that has to be very controlled. The reason white is so challenging in plastics and most manufacturing is because of the particle that is used to create white, which is actually a crystal of titanium dioxide. It's not titanium dioxide atoms themselves, they would look like this but the actual crystal itself, which in real life is clear, uh, but once you shave it down and turn it into individual small particles, it starts to look like snow. And that way you can add it to plastics and other materials in order to create white. But being titanium, um, it is very durable. So when it is processed through a machine of some lesser metal, in the case of 3D printers, a brass nozzle, it is going to wear out the nozzle before the nozzle wears on it. So titanium dioxide actually wears out machinery much more quickly. Um, and due to that, that small amount of wear throughout the entire production run of a set of white parts will cause just minor degradation in the nozzle so that white parts start to look a little bit rougher and less smooth than some other materials. That's just from the degradation of the nozzle. Since titanium dioxide is such a large particle, since it can't really be shaved down to atomic sizes, it has a particle size of about 0.2 uh, nanometers and up. But that large particle size is so large that it actually makes the flow of like white filament chalky, pasty, kind of like toothpaste. When you brush your teeth and you feel those little grains of like peppermint inside of it, that's what titanium dioxide dyed plastics flow like. They're very abrasive and very rough. That abrasion of course wears out the machine and it actually just causes weird flow dynamics that are not as smooth as something like carbon black which is about 20 times smaller than a titanium dioxide particle. So that is why white plastics don't really produce as clean of prints as something like black. Let us know down below if there's other things about 3D printing that seem a little bit weird to you that we can talk about. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and give us a like. Thanks, everybody.